Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the new improvements coming with RPG Builder version 1.1 for the NPC spawner components. So first of all, as you can see, we have multiple NPCs, in this case just deers, and all of them are now coming from the same spawner. So this was something asked a lot by the community, um, simply to have the ability to spawn more than one NPC per spawner. So if I now go in the inspector, you can see that I have the NPC spawner selected here and you can now choose a max NPC count. So whatever amount you set here is going to be the maximum possible um, NPC for this specific spawner. When you enter the game, for example, if it's um, in endless or count, it is going to um, spawn them all at once. But then as they die, of course, you will not always have, for example, five at the same time. They will respawn um, based with their, you know, uh, respawn rules. So, for example, the deers for this video, I uh, lowered the um, respawn time. So, for example, deers will respawn between 8 and 12 seconds. Another improvement is um, the way the NPC spawner is represented in the scene. So, now you have full control on how this looks, as well as the colors and everything. And as you notice, also the shape. Um, or whether the mesh used for this gizmo um, is different now. So before that, we had some kind of transparent sphere. And this sphere was actually not representing anything um, because the NPC will, no matter what, be spawned exactly where the NPC spawner is in the scene, right? Um, now it's quite improved, actually, uh, because you can define the area size of your spawner. So you can see that I can freely scale it up or down. And um, you also have a ground layer. And what this means is that, uh, let's set it to something a bit smaller and go above like this. So if I now look at our NPC spawner here, we see that uh, it has a 10 meter uh, area size and the ground layer is set to ground. What this means is that every time an NPC is going to be spawned, so for example, if you killed one and um, it's going to you know, be respawned, or for example, if you spawn one manually, uh, which I'm doing right now, as you can see, it is no longer spawning only exactly at the point of the NPC spawner, but it is now spawning randomly within this area. And the cool thing is, um, it is actually using a raycast technique, so that, for example, it's going to pick a point over here, and it is then going to uh, cast a ray down until it's hitting something with uh, this ground layer and in this case it's going to hit the terrain right which means it's going to find the perfect point for this um, NPC to be spawned that way it's going to be initialized perfectly with the nav mesh so I'm going to go ahead and show you um, again when I hit uh, spawn manually so uh, first of all when I hit spawn it's actually killing or destroying the first NPC from the list and spawning a new one. That's why if I spam it, they are all gone and then now, you know, um, are initialized like in a new spawn point. So as you can see now, it's just completely random. Every time I click, an NPC is spawned always within this um, area. So it's very cool. I'm going to make the area a lot bigger, for example, 40. And it might be harder to see now. I'm going to go full screen. So it's a bit harder to see, of course, but uh, as you can see, they are now spawning perfectly um, in the area, but in a bigger area. So yeah, that's pretty much um, all I wanted to show for, for this video. And in terms of like improvement to the system, it's a few small things, but they actually have a big impact on how you can design your game and uh, the population of your world by NPC. Nothing was uh, removed, so of course you can still have all um, i mean any apc you want uh, they can each have their own spawn chance etc so none of this um changed okay thank you for watching and see you in the next one